preparation of qualification exam part 1 we have competency 1 that is ethics and regulations which covered 7 to 8 percent of exam in this competency our first chapter is healthcare canada and in our first chapter our first topic is canadian healthcare system or health insurance program there are four points which you need to remember in this first topic Canadian healthcare system is called Medicare. It is not a national plan. It is decentralized. It means it owned and operated by 10 provinces and 3 territories. These provinces and territories decide which services will be covered and which are not. Second point is it is publicly 70% funded and 30% privately funded. From this fund, majority goes to hospital, which is 30%. Then the fund goes to drugs, which is 16%. Then the part from this fund goes to physician, which is 15.3%. To remember this, there is a mnemonics HDP. Hospital, then drugs, then physician. Third point is it is a universal system, means it covers all needed services what, to all citizen in simple word. All needed hospital services, physician services and surgical dental procedures provided at no cost to all citizen immigrants on equality basis. Remember, visitors are not included in this, only citizens and immigrants. Hospital services include inpatient standard ward. Standard ward means if you book a private ward, you have to pay. Otherwise, all standard wards are covered. All necessary drugs, biologicals, supplies and diagnostic tests as well as a broad range of outpatient services are included and covered. The physician services include all medically required services provided by practitioners in hospitals, clinics and physician, and physician office, their own office. Fourth point about Medicare is it is a non-profit service provided by both government. This is my notes and these are four important points specifically for exam. The more detail you can go to canada.ca and here it is about Medicare. Medicare is a term that refers to Canada's publicly funded health care system. Instead of having a na single national plan, we have 13 provincial and territorial health care insurance plans. Under this system, all Canadian residents have reasonable access to medically necessary hospital and physician services without paying out of pocket. Rules and responsibilities for health care services are shared between provincial and territorial governments and the federal government. The provincial and territorial governments are responsible for the management organization and delivery of healthcare services for their resident. This is about Medicare. Second point will be about responsibilities of federal government.